Hello boys and girls, Mrs Hannah is back for the next instalment of Silly Soup. We're getting towards the end of the alphabet now. So today's letter is A. Uh. So this is a capital A uh, and a lowercase A. Uh. Shall we see what's in my pot? There's not many, so it will take us not very long today. Ready? Silly Soup, Silly Soup, what can it be? Now, this is something that we would use if it is raining. Not boots on your feet. If it was raining, we would put up, uh, I bet you've guessed it, umbrella. And we sing a song in Sticky Kids about put up your umbrella. And we use umbrellas outside sometimes if it's raining. Umbrella. Silly soup, silly soup, what? can it be? Now this is a clue. Where is Mrs. Hannah pointing? I am pointing up, up, up in the sky, up. Good job. Silly soup, silly soup, what can it be? Now, if you stand up and put your hands on the floor and you put your head down, you become what? So head down on the floor, hands down. You are now upside down. And this funny man, look, he's upside down in the toilet. Upside down. We like doing that upside down and trying to do handstands and things. Upside down, up, upside. <laughs> right then, two more. Silly soup, silly soup, what can it be? Now, these are things that you wear before you put your clothes on. So what do you have to put on before you put your trousers or your skirt or your dress or your shorts on? What do you put on first? Not knickers, because that begins with a different letter, or not pants, because that begins with a p sound. They are called, another word for them, underwear or underpants as somebody calls them. We read lots of stories about that, the pirates and the dinosaurs who love underpants. So these are spotty underpants and stripy underpants. So it's a different word, a different word to use other than knickers and pants. So yeah, a different word to teach you. Okay, last one. Silly soup, silly soup, what can it be? Now, Miss Hannah's going to give you a clue. So, I've got a stool and there is something. Where's Miss Hannah's hand going? Not on top. Miss Hannah's hand is going. Uh, under. And you can see here, I didn't have a cat. I should have bought a cat. The little cat is underneath. The ch chair underneath, not on top, under. So that was ah, uh, the ah uh sound. Now, Mrs. Hannah will go straight into v, v, big capital v, and a little v. Shall we see what's in here? We've got a few more. Okay, so, oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, there's a really cool one in here. Okay, so, silly soup, silly soup, what can it be? Now, delivery men drive these, men and ladies drive these, um, or post people, um, postman Pat, he drives a red one. What do you think it is? V van and this is a red one like the post office's vans van silly soup silly soup what 
can it be? Now, this is a name for a, a collection of very healthy things to eat. So a carrot is one of these. Uh, broccoli is one of these. Cauliflower is one of these. It's a vegetable. Vegetables. Vegetables are very healthy foods. They make you grow big and strong. What's next? Silly soup. Silly soup. What can it be? Now, we have done an experiment with like the um, in preschool making these. They're a really big mountain and there's something inside these, this type of mountain. So you might not know it's one, but if it explodes, then you will know that it's a volcano. And some of our favourite experiments are to make volcanoes in preschool and this one look the red hot lava coming out the top volcano what's next silly soup silly soup what can it be now this is a type of job and they look after animals so this job these people look after animals can you guess it's a special job and they're called a, a, a vet. And this vet is looking after a little dog. Vet. Silly soup, silly soup. What can it be? Now, this is an instrument and it has strings on the instrument. And the person playing it puts it under their chin and they use a bow to make a sound. What instrument do you think Mrs. Hannah is demonstrating? A, v a violin. A violin. And sometimes it can sound a bit scratchy if you were not very good at playing the violin, but otherwise it's a beautiful instrument to listen to. A violin, you place it under your chin and you use the bow, that's the bow, to play the sounds. Okay, one more. Silly soup, silly soup, what can it be? Now you might have some of these in your house and your mummies and daddies might put flowers inside them. What do they use to put flowers inside, in the house? Not in the garden, in the house. We use a, a vase. Now this one is what looks like an ancient Greek vase. This one doesn't have any flowers in it, but it could do. A vase sound. So that today was a, a and v. So two different sounds, all in one video. Okay, boys and girls, see you again soon for the other, the rest of the alphabet. Bye-bye.